Welcome back, bombers, to the Scott Spot. I am Gang Leader Scott, and you're watching The Legend of Mitzelda, Majora's Mask. Okay, so here we are. I uh, ran back from uh, Romani Ranch here to East Clock Town because we want to go to the Stockpot Inn. However, there's nothing else for us to do during the day, so let's go ahead and uh, speed time up. And we want to send it to the last night. We actually don't have that much left to do in this cycle. In fact, I think uh, we will easily be able to finish it this time. Now to the final day. And as we saw during the first cycle, this place is virtually abandoned during the final day. So let's head up to the stockpot inn. There's nobody here anymore. It's scarily deserted. But now that it's night three, we can get into the employee room. We've got a dress here with some kind of weird mask. We can never get that mask, I don't think, but oh well. Um, it's the moon's mask, and that is Andrew's wedding dress, but it looks like she left it behind. Understandable, since everybody's about to die. The real reason we came up here, take the damn ears off, is we can get another silver rupee from this chest. But like I said, you can only get into the employee room on the third night. So, there is that. Um, so now we want to get 200 rupees so we can make another bank deposit. It is kind of strange that one of the only, uh, one of the few people who remains in town are the bombers. I mean, they're little kids. I guess they, they must all be orphans, because otherwise why would their parents not leave? Oh well. Let me just get the, the four rupees real quick. Oh my god, if I don't get that fourth rupee. Okay, there we go. I was about to be upset. So let's return to West Clot Town and make the deposit. Head over here. Deposit, please, another 200. I'm afraid of speeding past text because I'm always afraid that I'm going to, like, cancel out of this screen and end up having to go all the way back through his spiel. I guess he must see a lot of people. Either that or he's a stickler for procedures. You've already saved up a thousand rupees? Well, little guy, here's your special gift. Take it. And it's just a blue rupee, so there's nothing special for <laughs> saving up a thousand. Like I said, the next reward is at five thousand. That's what they call interest. <laughs> yeah, just like a uh, normal uh, interest is nothing to us. Okay, and then now we can find out the um, the winning lottery numbers. But before I do that, I'm going to speed time back up because there is an event we want to see late at night here. And there's not much else for us to do, like I said. It looks like even when the Rosa sisters learn their dance, they don't, uh... They still get out of town. Which is, makes sense, since the carnival was basically cancelled. Alright, what are the winning numbers tonight? We shall now announce the winning numbers. Your numbers are 976. Today's winning numbers are 162. Alright, let me write that down. 162, 162. In my last game, it was 857, but now it's 162. Too bad. Sorry, I'm getting back to my place in my guide here. Another guide that I wrote myself, I should add. There we go. I like how he still says to come back tomorrow morning, as if he's still going to be here. Spoiler alert, you're not, bro. It's getting more and more fiery out here. Fiery looking, anyway. And, like I said, there's uh, nothing else for us to do. But, however, there is a little Easter egg slash cutscene type deal at the Swordsman's School. You don't get anything for seeing this scene, but uh, it, it is in, kind of interesting to see. Um, so, like I said, there's nothing else for us to do. So, I'll just... Uh, Fast forward here to um, the time we're interested in is 11 o'clock. Okay, 
Here we go. Soon I will unite my spirit to cut the moon. So you must leave here. Sorry, the time cut up on me or I would have uh, answered a little sooner. So yeah, at 11, the, if you talk to the swordsman, he would have said that um, he plans on cutting down the moon uh, when it, at midnight. Who's there? I am focusing my spirit now. If you need something, come back later. So he plans on taking care of this problem for us. I think he says he like wants to split the moon in half with his own sword or something like that. But that's not the scene I was talking about. Now, if you wait until midnight, um, we can, we can see another additional little thing. If it ever gets here. And the final countdown begins now. As we can watch the clock tower transform. It's pretty cool that you can see it from here. See, or watch it transform even from over here. You don't have to be in the south clock town screen to get the cutscene. I wonder who's still setting off fireworks, though. And at midnight, you can actually go back inside. And what does this say? I'll be on vacation for a short while. Please don't look for me. Huh, I thought he was supposed to handle our problems. But if you go back here, you can actually slice that in half and reveal his hidden back room. And as you can see, he is quivering in fear back here rather than being the hero he claimed to be. Uh, I'm scared. I can't take it. I don't want to die. Poor fella. Like, on the one hand, I'm like, really? You coward. Like, you said you were going to... You bragged and busted so much, you said you were going to take care of this for us, and... But now, here he is, just, uh, quivering in fear. But, at the same time, you feel kind of bad for him, because he is scared, apparently. And yeah, that's basically it for our second cycle. I feel like we sufficiently explored the town, do all there was to do. Meanwhile, the postman here seems to be also in a similar state of grief. Oh, I want to flee, but, but it's not written on the schedule. D to me, the delivery schedule, it's the highest priority. I guess the uh, government workers didn't see fit to make fleeing part of it, the schedule. Yeah. To myself, you've been doing a great job delivering the mail. I have a request for my hardworking self. All of the townsfolk have taken refuge. I want myself to flee too. Even if it is not written on the schedule, I want myself to flee. Please. From me. Apparently, the letter to himself couldn't even convince him. Alright, but like I said, that's basically it for this cycle, and uh, even though this is a really short video, um, I didn't know, I don't want to like start the next cycle in this video, so yeah, that's unfortunate, but uh, a short video has to be expected after a long one like the last one. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and we, uh, I will come in here to uh, quiver in fear with the swordsman. As we await our imminent death. We'll try again next time at the Scott Spot.